Hi, this is Russell from Low Fruit Solutions, and today I'm going to be talking about using tags within your Shopify articles and when to create another blog. So, first of all, uh, what are tags? Well, if you're familiar with Shopify, what you'll notice is some of your articles uh, you have the ability to attach little metadata tags which uh, look like a bit like this on some of the uh, articles that you may have if you choose to display them in, within your theme and you can see here um, these uh, particular little articles that have uh, you know some have a couple of tags and uh, a few have a lot more so why would you use tags well uh, for anyone who's uh, familiar with more um, commonly utilized CMS systems like WordPress you'll find that when you create posts which are sort of aligned with what Shopify are calling articles you have the ability to break them down into in specific ways categories being one and then to use tags is another in Shopify you don't have the option to use categories which would kind of be similar to using type for products so you really only have tags to categorize your articles right so in other words to split them out uh, within your blog to into specific themes or subjects um, that you know that your readers can identify with and uh, ultimately that also then lends the ability to build relationships between articles right because if you were to click on a an exposed tag uh, within your articles it would then bring up a list of all the other articles with the same tag so tagging is really the only way that you can break down a, uh, a number of articles into specific categories right so um, now how do you design or build your tagging for articles it's probably something you've not really thought about right As you see a lot of themes with or, or sites where they only have like a single tag on their article etc which you know if you have a lot of content built up over time because content does add to your SEO it's probably not how you want to have things designed right what you want to think about is think about your articles think about them being like books in a library now if you walk into a library and you have an interest in uh, a specific subject call it windsurfing how are you going to find anything related to that well libraries use a system right where they break down starting at the I suppose the root of all things which would be books fiction non-fiction and then they go into specific subjects now that's kind of how you want to take the uh, the the same approach within your blogs so you're gonna to have to excuse me in here as I swap to what's uh, a pretty awful looking PowerPoint but it's something it's the only way I can really describe what I call the onion of relativity and it's the onion because as you peel into it as you get more specific things become you know more narrow and smaller around the number of articles so I've used an example here for a, a pet store All right now the your universal tag would be everything in that the highest level of subject matter All right in this case it's a pet store so you know every article should have pets on it um, and I'll, I'll get into why that will change down the track but for now we'll just say that the universal is pets the next section you would have is well pets break down into different different types of pets right so dogs now this the uh, the specific article that we've created is a, is related to uh, flea treatments for you know dogs so your subsection or your next layer of tags would be pet health flea treatment and then you'd be specific now specifics are really when you start to get down to the almost unique for that specific article so you know when you start talking about places or specific people that those are the type of tags right they're, they're really the finest grains of uh, your, your criteria if you will now so what does that mean that means is if I was reading this particular article about flea treatment for dogs um, it would naturally incline that I am a, a dog owner I'm concerned with my pet health and obviously I'm interested in the flea piece now we don't always just write articles for fun so naturally if I have um, tools at my disposal that allow me to uh, leverage that relativity for instance to sell treatments for fleas um, or to show additional content related to flea treatment then those will come up first 
you know, if I have news tools like in ProBlogger and so forth, where you would have related articles or related products shown specific to that article that use tags, um, you would get, you know, fleet treatments coming up first in the product system because ultimately people are reading about it are most inclined to then make purchase decisions based on the subject matter they have. And likewise, if they want to read more, then they'll get more articles related to flea treatments for dogs and the general dog health. So as an, another example, let's just have a look at the the next one here Ooh, and uh, this one. Gardening, right? So if you have a large store with multiple different subjects, you would have uh, you know, potentially gardening, lawn care, and then your subsection being lawn mowers, mowers, petrol mowers, and then the more specific stuff around that particular article. Now, it kind of also then gets around to the next point. Well, when and why would I create a secondary blog? In my personal opinion, and this is my personal opinion, you should try keep all your content in a single blog unless it disobeys a very simple rule. And this, this is a very good example to look at, right? Is that here we have a number of articles attached to the universal of gardening. Now, if your store sells not only gardening equipment, but kitchen equipment, it would make no sense to have articles related to kitchens and gardening together because there are no overlaps. Your, you, there's no overlap on your universal. So your highest tier, this universal gardening, would not there would be no overlap with kitchens and that's when I think you would create a secondary block I mean some people obviously use it for tools to, if you know if they have very specific authors um, who, who are contributing their own dedicated subject matter material that kind of lends itself more into where you are selling content but as a Shopify store owner typically you're selling product and uh, it makes sense that you attach articles to your products in in that sense right so if you are selling uh, or sorry attach blogs to your product lines so if you have kitchen products you really you would have a blog that's related to kitchen products the use of them best recipes etc right to expand on that if you're also selling lawn mowers then it makes sense that you would have a gardening specific blog because it's the likelihood of there being overlaps is very minimal and that way then they become self-contained and the products associated to them. You can basically create a very dedicated um, landing pages and all sorts to, to bring in um, you know, both the human and the robot audience via SEO to those pages and then generate more traffic and therefore ultimately more revenue. So you know, going back to the uh, um, when we looked at the pet store thing, right now so if you had the same line just looking at that right is where you had pets and then you had cats dogs health and fleas they all have a bit of overlap except the cats and dogs right so if you're in one section and I don't just say that because it's uh, um, they're two different parties but it would mean that you know if you were looking at an art article related to dog health and fleas you would also there were the same article specific to fleas and health would also then apply to articles about cats where those particular tags had been written in, and that way then, as I was saying, if you have a you know a, 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 your product line, even though it may look like there's different things like you why would you why would you not have a a, a blog for dogs and a blog for cats, is because it's quite likely you will have over like overlaps in between specific to things like pet health you know veterinary services fleas I'm pretty sure dogs and cats both get fleas and so forth and that's why you would try and maintain a single block the other consideration that you'd want to have around whether you want to create multiple blocks is are you willing to maintain multiple blocks because it's a lot easier to put content into one and then choose to display that in your store in a in a very curated way as opposed to having six different blogs each with two articles in them and then there's no relativity between them something to consider so looking back at the uh, our store now
just for those of you not familiar, we there is a we did uh, another video around you know the basics of blogging, which is worthwhile to look at around uh, creation of tags and so forth. But just in case you did you missed it, we're just going to go to the store and just so we can I'll show you how and where you would do tags. So this is the store dashboard. If we click on online store, it'll ex expand the next option, and uh, just underneath it. We're going to find blog posts. I'm going to see there's a number of blogs here. Now, if you wanted to create a, a new blog, you just click on Manage Blogs here, and you would get the option once it uh, loads in this page. Uh, taking a little bit of a while, but you'll get an option to create a new blog. Um, or to uh, and, you know, and you would give it a name, and that's how you would create. If you if you had like multiple product lines, you would create kitchenware, gardening, uh, and so forth. Right, that'd be your the way to do it. Otherwise, um, uh, as I tried to describe, I'm not sure why it's taking so long to load Shopify. Having a little bit of a, a moment, but uh, these are the things I would you know, you know say so you, you consider right is whether you really need to have uh, a dedicated specific blog for your your product lines and if not if your product lines are all similar or um, you feel that there is overlap between them then leverage that leverage that with your articles create articles um, that are specific and if you really need to you know like you could go as I was trying to show you with the um, with the uh, uh, the specifics here you you could go to that level of tagging specific products as your specific item right so if you have you know in this case i've put novartis here as so a, a pharmaceutical manufacturer but you would actually put you know flea treatment um oh, treatment um let's just assume by you know X so that way then the specific is really the product that it is uh, you know you're trying to align to uh, and you could do that right now the good thing also about having a system like this is that it then becomes very easy to maintain if you understand how it's laid out right so that's why I say it's always worth putting a little bit of planning into how your tagging structure for your articles will be it's not just for you it's obviously ultimately for your your readers and consumers to be able to find material that is best suited for them. Let's just see if that's re if that's loaded now. Ah, oh, here we go. So, just to, to create a new uh, blog, you just go here, click on Add Blog. Um, you get a option to specify a title, and you know to go through the comments and uh, etc. Uh, as mentioned in the, the our previous video, the blogging basics in Shopify. You make sure your title is relevant to your subject line. So, if we were cre creating one that was uh, you know specific to gardening you know we would call it gardening we know that would make the most sense yeah okay so let's just go back just to have a look at uh, uh, where to find tags and uh, alright so just looking on this blog post it's not going to have much of a, a uh, bunch of material but for the point of this exercise we're just going to have a look at where the, uh, the tag section are so here, right at the bottom right around the corner, we've got tags. In this case, we started off with universal, which is fruit. We've then gone down to our subsection, which is tropical. Now, you don't always have to have the four layers. Uh, I mean, in this case, we have got only got to the, the third one. The specifics, if we really wanted to get specific in this case, we could say um, queen pineapple. You know, that's a very specific type product. We could add, uh, you know, a number of um, other tag specific to that to other products or articles in here and then that would then make the, the, the center of the onion if you will anyway I hope that was uh, a useful little presentation and gave you some food for thought around tagging within your articles and when to create secondary blocks um, just remember you really want to concentrate your energy and effort into one thing well as little amount of things as possible so you can make them as best as they can be anyway thank you very much for watching and listening uh, all the best with your Shopify endeavor